Welcome to Pratham Science Academy classes and we are on to question number 24 of exercise 5.1 and for this question we have to check the content of the function which is defined at x is equal to 0 and x is not equal to 0 and it's on the number line like this for x is equal to 0 the value of the function is 0 and when it's not 0 so that means for less than 1 so not zero means less than one or greater than one. The value of the function is same, but we will have to check whether it is continuous or not. So value of the function at zero is zero. And let's evaluate it for the left hand limit and the right hand limit. So for the left hand limits, the value of the function is x squared sine of one by x. And for right hand limit, the value of the function is also its x, its x square sine of 1 by x. Okay, now let x be a small value less in 0 and x be a small value greater in 0. And as x tends to 0, h tends to 0 similarly here as x tends to 0, h tends to 0. Okay, now it is now limit h tends to 0. So x square is 0 minus h, the whole square and it's sine 1 upon 0 minus h. And it is limit h tends to 0. It's 0 plus h, the whole square and sine of 1 upon 0 plus h. So this gives us limit h tends to 0. This is minus h, the whole square is h square and this is sine of 1 upon minus h. Okay, now it's uh, when h tends to 0, 1 upon h tends to uh, it's 0 by 1. So it's 1 by 0 is infinity. So that means this is limit h tends to 0 h square into uh, this is sine of, and we can write it as minus sine of 1 by h is infinity, and this value lies between uh, minus 1 and 1. So, value of this lies between minus 1 and 1. So, h is 0. So, 0 into value between minus 1 and 1 is 0. Similarly, here. Uh, this is limit h tends to 0. It's h square and sine of 1 by h. So sine of 1 by h is its sine infinity and value of infinity. Okay, so it's sine h square into sine infinity and value is for this. The value is between minus 1 and 1. And if we put the limit h is equal to 0, so 0 into value between 1 and 1, that should be 0. So in this case, the value of the function at 0, left hand limit and the right hand limit, all these coincide. So value of the function is equal to left hand limit is equal to right hand limit is equal to 0. So this means that the function is a continuous function. And this was our question number 24. Do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.